Hello, I'm David O'Halloran and welcome to Cancer Demystified. What is cancer? Well, the first thing to understand is not just one disease. There are many different types of cancer, over 200 different types. But because we have one word for it, we assume that there's going to be one cure. Well, actually, we're going to need over 200 different treatments for 200 different types of cancers. But it does have certain common elements to it. And the first thing is it manifests itself as a neoplasm. And by neoplasm I mean new growth. Neo meaning new, plasm meaning growth, new growth. And this new growth is as a result of what we call uncontrolled proliferation of normal body cells. There's a few things going on here. Uh, proliferation means we produce many cells and that can happen naturally inside the body for example if I cut myself here I basically make a gap between the two edges of the skin and that gap has to be bridged so I proliferate more cells in order to bridge that gap but once that gap has been bridged the proliferation stops so it's controlled when cancer results, it, this proliferation carries on, it's uncontrolled. It, the cells are not constrained by the normal control mechanisms of the body. So you get too many cells being produced, uh, which yields a clump of cells, which we call a neoplasm, or colloquially called a, a tumour. And the other thing about that statement is they start off as your cells. Um, this isn't you're not getting attacked from outside here that your body can recognize and set up an immune response relatively straightforwardly in, in most cases uh, these are your cells which become damaged for one reason or another which switches them on to this uncontrolled proliferation so what is it that's getting damaged well it's the genes within the cell itself the genes G E N E S the genes we, we, when we talk about them that we say they give them give us our color of our skin the color of our hair how tall we are these sorts of things they do but individual cells of the body have genes within them which tell the cell what to do when to do something why to do something and how to do something and in particular we have genes which switch the cell on to division they're called proto oncogenes and, and, and genes which switch the cell off maybe are these called tumor suppressor genes and if we get an imbalance in these the cell can be switched on to uncontrolled cell division growth proliferation so what causes the damage to these genes well we can group them into three categories essentially the first one is just bad luck really, random damage that's done and mistakes that are made as the cell replicates its DNA. So uh, DNA is massively compli complicated and long um, and it's a little bit like if I gave you all the volumes of Harry Potter, I don't know, seven volumes or so, and your job is just to copy them out word for word for the next six months or so. Uh, in that process of copying them out you will make mistakes uh, and that's what happens to the DNA when it gets copied over mistakes are sometimes made more often than not these can be repaired and mended sometimes they can't be and they're in parts of the DNA which are important to us and cause a problem so you know, random damage random mistakes is one category the second category, the things that are in the environment that we don't have an awful lot of control over. You know, we, we breathe in pollution as we go outside. Uh, we, we may be exposed to radon gas that comes up through uh, granite rock and these sorts of things. And we sort of expect legislation and governments to help us out and limit that exposure. But generally speaking, there's not too much we can do about that generally. The third category is something we can do something about, and that's the things that we expose ourselves to. Uh, the things I'm talking about here, of course, are smoking tobacco, uh, drinking alcohol, uh, UV exposure from sunlight, but also sunbeds, don't forget. Diet, all the things that you hear about in the news and you're reading on, on, on Facebook and things like this. Things that, when, when we do these things, we put ourselves at risk of developing these uh, types of diseases and cancer in particular um, probably around about 45 or so percent of all cancers are, are, are maybe caused through exposure to these types of um, 
uh, risk factors that we uh, associate with uh, the smoking, the drinking, these sorts of things. But that's not necessarily meaning we're going to get them, these types of cancers, but we put ourselves at risk. So we all know people who smoke who don't get lung cancer, and we all know people who don't smoke who do get lung cancer, but they're what we call the outliers. The, the vast majority of us sit in the middle, uh, and by doing these things, we put ourselves at higher risk. And uh, limiting our exposure to these things, therefore, will reduce our risk of getting cancer later on in life. So, just a few hints, a few tips, a few ideas in, in and around what cancer is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little video. I'll try to do some more of these. Uh, check out my website that's on the screen now for more information about the webinars that I do and the courses that I, I, I run. Uh, if you want to find out more about this type of information in a way that's accessible to you. Uh, if you liked it, leave a comment, uh, share it amongst your friends and colleagues. And also you might like to be interested in uh, the book that I've just written, Cancer Demystified, which is coming on your screen shortly. If that's of interest to you, uh, it tells you where to, to find it on the, on the internet. So, hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Bye bye.